some of the dynamics which uh, has driven the process in between 2002 and 2005, the emergence of um, a rather powerful civil society structure is gone, and then we have to say how to stimulate this. Probably, you know, we uh, have also to listen to the, let's say, new generation of citizens, civil society members, uh, because um, the majority uh, here, of, or some of the drivers of this process, are now in their 50s and 60s. Uh, and we should listen more to the young people in their 20s and 30s. Uh, what are their issues? Uh, and what are the internet governance problems of this um, new generation? Because they have to settle it. When we talk about internet governance, today we are talking about the internet as a whole. But we see, uh, I would not say a fragmentation of the internet, but we see, you know, that based on the internet, we see a lot of new emerging networks where we can also ask the question, is there a need for these new emerging networks for a governance structure? Uh, if I imagine that Facebook is now using, Facebook.com uh, Facebook is using a top-level domain, a .com domain, uh, and the whole nation of 500 million people now on top of a top-level domain um, is um, managed just by Mark Zuckerberg. And if he gets up in the morning and says, I changed the privacy rules in my uh, 500 million network, then he does it. That means the question is, is there a challenge for internet governance within a social network? And should not have the 500 million users of Facebook a right to participate in policy development for Facebook? Probably it's much more easy and much more challenging and you get a greater mobilization if you say probably if Facebook has a at large council and we elect 15 representatives from the world uh, Facebook users, uh, which would give advice to Mr. Zuckerberg how to uh, uh, develop um, uh, privacy issues or other issues. This is a new uh, governance challenge, which is not in contrary what we discuss here, but would be the next step going beyond to discuss internet as a whole, you know, with two billion, three billion, four billion users. Uh, it gets so complex, it makes no sense anymore. But there are new units, you know, which are more or less still, I would not say empty boxes, but where uh, some work has to be done, although some theoretical conceptual work makes it sense or not. It's a private company, you know. Probably we uh, have, uh, have to invest more in formulating agenda for the next five or ten years, what are the new challenges? Just now they discuss in the main room cloud computing. You know, uh, who governs the cloud? Uh, also a good question, you know, what are my rights within the cloud? Uh, should we have uh, some kind of um, participation in managing clouds or things like that? So all these are more specific internet governance issues which, uh, you know, emerge from the debate we had the last five, ten years. It, it, we have to understand our history, but it makes no sense to repeat this history again and again and again and not to move forward. So we have to take history as a source of inspiration, but we are still on the way into unknown territory and we have to explore this territory, to come with innovative solutions. And um, I think this, is, this, this would be my, uh, my, my challenge for the let's say, next five years of the IGF to make the IGF a, a place where such new ideas are discussed.